Rakesh, thanks very much for being with us on WeAreTennis.com. You're welcome. How do you enjoy being on the media side of things in tennis these days? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I am on the other side of the, of the, of the camera these days, aren't I? I have been for a few, quite a few years. Uh, yeah, look, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy it in, in smaller doses, um, I should say. I mean, I like commentating, but I still love getting out in the court. And it's, it's funny, it's, I, I still think I'm a tennis player, <laughs> uh, even though uh, maybe I'm an old tennis player, but I still think, I still think I'm, an, I'm a tennis player. And, and, uh, but I do enjoy, I sort of enjoy the coaching part of of tennis, so I've sort of gone from being a tennis player to sort of a tennis coach, I suppose. And in many ways, the uh, commentating is a bit like coaching; it's sort of explaining that sort of stuff. And and then, of course, uh, you know, I'm doing a bit of presenting now on, on various things, so I have to, you know, get up and, and talk. And that's that's been tricky. That's it's scary. That's, that's quite scary. Um, interviewing interviewing players, and it's, weirdly, I mean, I've had you know a million questions asked to me, but when you have to go and ask somebody a question, it's completely different altogether. It's really, really strange. And so I've had to adjust to that. Um, but it's, you know, it's usually lighthearted stuff. I'm not really grilling tennis players and they're usually pretty, pretty relaxed about it. Well, what is the toughest part of that? I mean, I know you're saying to come up with things and you've got to ask them and suddenly you get a brain freeze or whatever. Mm. But do you find that a difficult part of the job? Yeah, I find, I find actually asking the players questions uh, the, one of the things I, I find tricky is is actually keeping up to date with everything and and uh, uh, you know I follow the circuit loosely uh, yeah. I keep you know I keep in, in touch I watch what you know the results are coming up but I don't watch every result and, and it, it's impossible to sort of remember yeah, who Federer beat in the quarterfinal of Shanghai this year uh, you know who did Kvitova did she win a tournament this year or not or how many tournaments she won and uh, that sort of stuff I mean I really I'm not that fanatical about tennis to remember all that stuff um, so it, it, a lot of the time uh, you know you go to interview a player and you, it'd be you're nice to talk about oh you know I saw you win that final that's that sort of stuff and, and come up with something other than other than so how's your form yeah. these days or you know uh, how's that back end how's your, how's your back end or you know and then you, I don't want to pry into personal stuff so you want to ask different questions something a bit different but um, if you don't know their exact all their exact results it's 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 kind of tricky to say oh look you know how was you know how how was your tournament in, in uh, Basel and, and then you know went there did you you know was it was the courts different or whatever whatever it happens to be that might be in, of interest to them but yeah. it's uh, that's that's a trick put one of the trickiest things is coming up with sort of fresh answers and yeah could you ever when you were playing could you ever imagine that you'd be on this side of the tennis fence on the media side could, no. you had a little bit of a hot and cold uh, uh, yeah. r romance with, with with the media you're playing though yeah I think that's that's a yeah that's an understatement. Um, yeah, I wasn't really. I thought doing media was just uh, just annoying. It was just uh, it was just uh, an unnecessary thing to do. Was, to me, it was, it was, I just wanted to play tennis. You know, just play tennis. Leave me alone. Let me play tennis, um, and uh, let me get on with you know what I what I enjoy doing and and uh, yeah, having a. Having a sort of a, being young and having a family as well, I was you know I always wanted to get back to my family, the kids, and 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 not having to sit around doing media interviews and stuff like that. And stuff. so I never would have thought I'd be on this side. I, I suppose I always thought I could be a commentator and just you know do a bit of bit of writing, just general sort of stuff. And but um, uh, you know to be sort of still to be you know uh, doing it. Well, as, a, as a living, I suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, I st I'm kind of doing commentating. I'm still playing and doing other things, but uh, to be doing it as a living is uh, is well, it's a it's a privilege actually to still be able to go out there. And and the thing is, I'm learning every time yeah. I'm, I'm 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 at a tournament, and every time I see the players. I mean, today I was on the side of the court watching Rafa warm up for his you know final here at the O2. Um, and I was watching him, I was, I was learning stuff. I mean, how the unbelievable ferociousness that he was hitting the ball. And, you know, he likes to, to get that out of his system, to really get his fast shots grooved. Um, you know, it's really interesting to see. And, you know, he was, he was hitting a lot of balls out. It wasn't it meant too many in. He was a bit, kind of a bit grumpy about it all. But, you know, I think he probably hopes that he, he gets a rhythm of that. And so that makes me think, you know, is that, 
is that a good way to, to, to teach somebody? Is that the way that I should be playing now? Uh, you know, so it's, I'm always learning stuff.